Greetings, my name is Charles McCall and I'm Director of Mentoring Growing Leaders and we are in lesson number five of a short series we're doing on strategic planning and I want to talk in this short lesson I just want to talk to Christians because my background is overseeing a Christian organization and being the pastor and senior leader of a, of a Christian church and uh, being involved in many different Christian uh, institutions and sometimes Christians think we don't have to plan we think that oh God didn't plan God just created the the earth and it just kind of happened and uh, there's no really we say rhyme or reason to it and so I just want to try to correct that thinking specifically uh, to Christians is that there are biblical examples of planning God makes a plan Isaiah chapter 37 26 God made a plan on day one of creation he's going to do this day two day three day four day one two three prepared the earth for day four five and six and so he knew I've got to do this first I've got to do this second I've got to do this third in order for this to happen that's called strategic planning and the Bible says that that before God even created the earth he had a plan that Jesus was going to come into the world and so God is a planner he is very systematic he, he plans the day when certain things are going to happen, the season, he chooses the people, he chooses the human resources, material resources, and final financial resources to get done what he wants to do. And so just speaking to Christians, uh, particularly briefly, is that don't think that we Christians don't plan. God is a planner. Noah made a plan. And so God told Noah to build a great big ship and it took Noah a year to do it and Noah had to plan. I don't know if they had pencils in those days, but he did something to draw out the plan. And King David planned the same way that God told David to build a temple and to gather the resources. And so both Noah and David, they had to think through, okay, they had to think through what is it going to look like. God knew what the earth, mankind, and everything was going to look like in the end before he started. We always start with the end in mind. We think, what's it going to look like? So Noah knew what the boat, the ship was going to look like. David knew what the temple was going to look like. And that made gathering the resources easier. It made gathering the people that he needed easier. And the finances, all of those, once we, we decide what the end is going to look like, it makes all the other decisions easier. So Nehemiah is another example of planning that he was uh, leaving uh, one city and he was going to go back to uh, Jerusalem and he's going to rebuild the wall and he knew the people that he needed, the kind of people that he needed, how many people he was probably going to need, what kind of materials he was going to need, approximately how long it was going to take him to do it, and where was he going to start, what was step one, two, three, that's called strategic planning, all right? Jesus told parables about planning. Jesus talked about the wise builder and the foolish builder. The foolish builder didn't think through. He didn't have a plan. He built his house on the sand and it fell. He didn't have a strategic plan, but the wise builder had a strategic plan. And Jesus told the parable about the, the builder that was counting the cost. Okay, I've got, to, I've got to do this. How much is it going to cost for me to finish this project? That's called strategic planning. And Jesus told us about this. He gave it as a good example. And then there's the king that was planning to go into battle. Jesus told us about these parables, these stories. And uh, I'm going to go fight against this guy, but he's got more soldiers than me. He's got more resources. And so therefore, to, to, oh, can I really overcome him? I need to think through this. Can I really do? Can I I accomplish my goal or not this is Jesus telling us that we need to plan and so I want to encourage you if you're a pastor you need to have at least a three to five year plan if you're a pastor or you're a church planter uh, you need to have a three or five year plan if you're a business person the same as well if you're a school the same as well a government entity the same as well you need to have a three to five year plan 
What's this going to look like three to five years from now? And then in every entity, we have departments. In a church, we have music department, children's department, Bible department, evangelism department, all different departments. Every department needs to have a strategic plan. The same way in your business. Is in, in your business, you have the, the front desk, or you have the kitchen, or you have the, the dining area if it's a restaurant, you have the cleaning if it's a hotel. So all these are different departments. And so you need a, a manager over each one of those, and each one of those departments needs to have a strategic plan. And so you have teams, you create teams, all right? And so anyway, the point is, speaking specifically to Christians in this area, don't think we don't plan. Christians need to have a plan for their life. They need to have a plan for their family. They need to have a plan for the, uh, the ministry and the work that God has called them to do. All right, just a short lesson. Again, I want to thank you for uh, listening to this. And I want to encourage you to uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Like this video, click the bell button so you can be notified the next time I upload a video. And also, if this lesson or this series is helpful to you, I want to encourage you just to, to copy the link and send it to someone else so that they can benefit from it as well. Finish number five, now we're moving on to lesson number six.